Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to my channel. Today, what I'm trying to serve is a librarian, okay? Because today we're talking about some Black authors that you should know. You know why? Because it's Black History Month, and we need to support Black business. We need to support Black stories. So, take these glasses off because I don't like the glare, but I'm trying to do the look. Uh, these are actually the, my glasses. I do wear glasses. But, anywho, these are very important up-and-coming Black authors queer stories straight stories in regards to like black men coming of age stories you have black women coming of age stories you have black educators and also how to be a business person if you're an artist okay let's get to it book number one artisha man cooper she is wonderful absolutely wonderful and so is her book first of all i want to say it's 25 dollars. now what this book does is it shows you how to be an artist preneur and i know many of you watching this and many of you out in the world and myself included you're an artist you're a creative you write you dance all of these artistic things but you're kind of struggling sometimes with how to turn that into a business how do i monetize myself because basically especially if you're an artist they want you to know how to market yourself and you're like, okay, well, then that's business. Like, I need to have some kind of business savvy on some level uh, to be to be able to do those things. And her book shows you how to do that. And it shows you how to do more if you're interested in doing more. Like, let's say you're interested in uh, creating, like, a YouTube channel like myself. Or if you're interested in creating a website uh, for your for whatever your artistry is. And uh, what's really nice is not only does she give you step-by-steps, of what to do and this is a, a like a workbook you work through it you fill it in quotes throughout encouraging words throughout and there is a community for you all to be connected together that people that have this book and to be connected with her so that she can give you <clears throat> real assistance during your journey for $25 you cannot beat that because they're especially at the quality that she does it because there are many people out there that do show you how to uh you know work on business and, and it, it it can run much more expensive than a one-time thing of, of $25 to get you on your way and this is also a really great book if you're just starting out it's wonderful for you and it's also great for you if you need some tune-ups you're like I'm in it but like can I be better like what don't I know like how can I finesse this thing how can I be better this is the book for you support her she's a black woman I'm doing all my black women first next how far by Audubray Ebiyama I could be butchering her name if I am I'm so sorry I apologize this book is absolutely phenomenal it's different being black in the in the uh, black experience you you often have situations where you're, you're struggling with your racial identity or sometimes it's not even racial but your your spiritual identity as a black person as my, our roots being centered in africa uh but being you know in america and uh, her story is kind of like i don't know if coming of age is but not coming of age so she went to a trip to Nigeria and her uh, from her father's homeland and this is about her experience and I love the writing it's 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 writing that you can wake up early in the morning you know get a coffee or a tea and sit outside and you get transported into her beautiful mind and the way she writes is quite poetic she'll say something and you immediately understand and can picture it in your mind. I'm going to read a little short excerpt uh, from her book and this section is called uh, Queer and this really hit me because it was like ooh, like I'll let her speak for herself. I'll, I'll read a little excerpt. Queer. You and your nerve with the TV on to claim that a man you just saw on the screen he must be one of those gays. Real men do not cross their legs when they sit down. I was baffled at your clear criticism of the way a man is seated comfortably in his chair. I tried to explain to you that being gay is not about how a man sits. Plenty of American men cross their legs when they sit. But also, there isn't anything wrong with a man crossing his legs if that is in fact how he feels most comfortable. And y'all look at deeper from there. She she really started talking about like some 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 stuff. 
up in that section. I'll read the back of the book so you because she says it way better than I am saying it. How Far is a series of lyrical essays inspired by the author's first trip to Nigeria, a common expression used to ask someone how they're doing, how far uses the distance of traveling to understand heritage and self-learning to feel belonging and grapple with personal past. These essays detail the conflict of connecting where you come from and where you are across themes of identity, sexuality, and familial ties. People, I will be sure to put down the IG handles of the authors and also uh, how to purchase the books if you would like to purchase them. Next up, another coming of age or identity type of book is Brian Dixon's Longing for Identity in a Black and White World, A Child's Struggle for Racial Dignity people. It's a black man being vulnerable about his life. So I had the pleasure of, uh, no, I know Brian and met him years ago, met him years ago. <clears throat> and he is adopted. He is a black man. Of course, he's a black mother. Um, and he also has a white mother uh, that adopted him. And he tells his story growing up, you know, in Philadelphia and how he was born. And it was, it was very traumatic and he was, you know, born addicted uh, to crack. And now I will say, I know Brian, so I understand, you know, a bit of his humor, but uh, if you choose to read this book, it can be a bit jarring. Some of the things that he talks about, Brian is very like casual with like something that's, that other people might be tiptoe around. He'd be like, oh, well, you know, molestation or whatever. And you're like, oh. Uh, and one thing that did get me, I wasn't mad. I was just like, Brian, if you say little black crack baby one more time, but he was talking about himself. He is talking about himself, but, um, so that could be jarring for some readers, but I think many of us have to get past, you know, this prim and proper, like, oh, I don't want to hear that. Like that's, that's beneath me and all this. No, because this is life. Life is real. People's experiences are real. Their their journeys are real. And it's not rainbows and gumdrops all the time. And I love that he's honest. He's, he's completely transparent about where he is, where he came from, how it made him feel. This is a black man being vulnerable, which we don't get to see and hear a lot of. And I think, you know, that should be encouraged. Just like, you know, Audrey, like when she is being vulnerable, black woman, these are black people being vulnerable about their journeys and about their stories and they should be respected. So please pick this up. It's a wonderful read. It can be jarring, so prepare yourself, but also it's, he's a good man. And this is a really good story. Last but not least, Brad Washington's The Green Print. Now I know Brad, I know Brad from like long, long times ago, days, okay? Like I went to high school with Brad. <laughs> <laughs> so um he is a really great guy and a wonderful educator so brad uh teaches students he teaches kids little babies they're like four or five years old they're so adorable so cute so he teaches them and he's been teaching them for a while and he uh as on his journey of being an educator and working with these kids he found that he was able to create certain rituals and structures to help these kids help them and himself with social emotional learning which I think is the best way to teach kids and and and, and the, because as human beings we are social emotional creatures and many of the issues that we have is because this lack of vulnerability or people being afraid to be vulnerable look we all know you cry okay we all cry at home okay some of y'all be crying in the shower all right with students especially older students sometimes it can be a little hard to penetrate you know vulnerability so for the babies he's talking about and this isn't just for babies but that's what he teaches and, and works with children this is a great way to hear from someone actually doing it they tell you how they did it they tell you how to do it and they tell you the results and how the, the children and the students reacted to it. And I love how he has, you know, the title of the green print. I'm going to read the back of this because they always say it much better <laughs> than I do. Brad Washington is masterful in his approach to social emotional learning. The green print is an innovative, positive reinforcement template for those seeking to nurture the best in young children. It's 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 work. 
And that's what, you know, educators do is work. They're, they're, they're lit literally building America one child at a time. And I appreciate them for that. I'm going to be speaking with educators because I feel like they should have a platform in regards to Black History Month and teaching Black students and their journeys with that. So all of these books, one of them digital, uh, Artisha Man Cooper's Artist Free Month, that's a digital book. So that's why I don't physically have it in my hands. But I will leave all the information, their IG handles, and how to purchase the book uh, for yourself. Please support these up and coming young black artists with a range of information. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Happy Black History Month. Love you beautiful people. Jalissa Joy out.